Hi, I'm Linda Black, the yoga coach, and I'm going to talk about dry brushing. So dry brushing is what we do to stimulate the lymphatic system, which is your body's natural elimination, uh, uh, one of the elimination actions of the body. Okay, so your lymph nodes are located here in the armpit. Um, or just a right outside, and then you've got to set here are your largest lymph nodes. So we're going to brush lightly towards those centers of the lymph nodes. Now the lymph system is very uh, what do you want to sensitive, so you want to be very sweet and kind when you do the brushing. It's not a really hard brush. It's very soft. Uh, it might, you might get some redness, but it's not, you don't want to hurt yourself, okay, or have scratches. Now, I have a lymph brush, and this is made out of uh, genuine, well, it says it's bamboo, and I think it's horsehair. I don't remember. But it comes with a little strap that makes it really easy to hold. It also, you can slip this on and make a longer handle. So those hard to reach places back here, you can use the, the long handle. Now I have long arms, so I don't need the long handle. So I'm gonna take you through an overall body lymph drainage, or the lymph dry brushing system, okay? It's a little bit complex, I'm not going to say complex, but once you get it down, if you want to write these instructions down, then you can do it in about five minutes or a little less. Okay, so dry brushing is best done in the morning. So you're brushing off all the dead skin and you're stimulating the lymphatic system. So it's, you're going to get that uh, body just moving, right? It feels really good after you're done too. Uh, and then you're going to jump in the shower, and hopefully you've got a shower head that filters your water, so you're not putting any more poisons back into your body. But you're just letting them, now that they're on the surface, you can wash them away. And then you want to finish up with some nice uh, oil, either a, um, an oil bath, and you can leave the oil on either before, if you're doing sesame seed oil, You'll want to leave it on before you get in the shower and then rinse it off, okay? So, all right, back to dry brushing. You know, dry brushing is really great for getting rid of cellulite too. So, I know, now you're going to do it, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to start where the big lymph nodes are. And we're going to start on the left side. So we're going to go clockwise seven times in a circle and then reverse it seven times. Then we'll go over the breast towards the lymph, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and under the breast, and I usually hold the breast. And of course, you're not gonna have clothes on when you do this. Okay, and you'll do the same thing on the other side, three times in clockwise and counterclockwise and then across the breast on the top and underneath. And then we're going to go to the back. You're going to reach as far down the back as you possibly can and brush up. Continue from there and go from there uh, across the neck. So you're going down towards the lymph again. And then you're going to take it up and around and down, up, around, down, up, around, down, seven times. Okay, this is just going to kind of clear the limp and let it drain out of your ear and your uh, nasal passage as well. There's a whole facial one we're not going to do. So again, on the other side, seven times, then coming up the back, around the shoulder. And then from the shoulder up and around. So you're just going up and then back down towards the chest. 
seven, and we're going to do the belly. In a circular motion, I'm going clockwise, getting big and going small. And then you're going to reverse it, small and going big. Okay. And we'll take the sides of the body seven times again, and you're brushing up towards the lip. Okay, and then the, we're going to start on the hand and the arms. So a circular motion, getting all of the, the palm of the hand. Turn it over and take the strokes up each finger. So I'm going to just do that seven times. This is a light, quick brush. And then I'm going to go in a circular motion around the wrist seven times. And then up the forearm on all four sides of the forearm. So I'm sort of turning the forearm around and then I'll come right up to the shoulder, underneath the arm. Ah, yeah, I'm already starting to tingle and feel very vibrant and alive. This is a great practice to do in the morning to wake you up and then you take a nice warm bath or shower and rinse it all, all that dead skin off. It's important to wash your brush after you've brushed the skin. Probably, if you're doing this uh, two or three times a week, then I would probably do this weekly. I would wash the brush off. Notice that I am dry and the brush is dry. You do not want to do this wet. That is going to be painful if you do it wet. Okay, so we've got the arms, the chest, the neck, the back, except for down here. So we're going to go up five strokes, all the way across the back. So I did five, 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 five. Kind of took it in a section all the way across the back. Then I'm going to start at the hip. You know, I'm going to start back here and move forward, brushing the skin. Now, of course, uh, if you, you'd want to brush the skin, so you're here, brushing in. Seven times, and then you're going to take it from the base of the buttock up and into the lymph node. Again, seven times. So we'll do each side, and of course, you're going to start left, and I started, I didn't do that, that's okay seven times and then from the base of the buttock all the way around. Excellent. Now we're going to take the sole of the foot and I'm just going to go in a circular motion. I can start at the heel and brush up to the top of the foot and back down and then I'm going to take the top of the foot and brush up in little strokes. So just like we did on the hand and then we'll go for the ankle and I'm going to split my ankle in half and take half seven strokes one way and then I'm going to come back and do seven strokes to the inside of the ankle. So I went outside and then inside. Up the leg seven times to the back and to the side and then the knee. I'm coming all the way up the leg And of course the back of the leg. And then we do the other, the other foot, starting at the heel, coming up to the toe, and back down again. Ooh, I love the way this feels. And across the outside of the ankle and the inside of the ankle, and up the shin, the side, inside, and the back seven times. I'm not brushing really hard, I'm just really briskly lifting in short uh, sweeping motions. And you're done. We've done the whole body. Oh, that feels good. You ready for the, to jump in the shower? Good luck with that. Start your day out right.